Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International, new artist and educator here and today we are going to do another Christmassy design and I thought I will show something to the beginners as well because we all want sometimes those kind of like an advanced looking news and I got a nice idea of the water transfer so you can have a wee preview in here. So we are going to decorate it uh, as well, like with some sugar, just to kind of give it a hand-painted feel to it. And I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Also, I would like to say a huge thank you for all the subscribers, all the likes and all the beautiful comments you are leaving under uh, each video. Thank you so much, guys. Let's start! <laughs> Absolutely super quick design for a beginners and we all have been beginners at one time so I will show you how to do a really beautiful Christmassy design with out of like an crazy painting skills or um, time consuming designs as well. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just buffing the tips. What you would do on your client is just finish them in a white color. And white color for red transfers is best just because um, the transfer is looking the nicest on the white background. Okay, remove the dust. Then I've got some transfers now. I'm really horrible for knowing like where I sometimes got the stuff from because uh, some of the stuff is like, you know, might be uh, even 10 years old. And uh, I know that it's, uh, it's a water transfer tattoos number N430. But if you don't have a specific one, you could use a different one. So I show you an example. So here I've got like a um, uh, water transfer as well, which is a winter, which is a scenery. It is not winter, but we could easily decorate it into the winter scenery just by adding the snow into the existing colors and on top of the green part. So uh, that's another idea for you. And you could uh, have the transfer with the, um, ha like, uh, with the houses in there and you could easily decorate it as well. But I, I will show you an example of this transfer, how we could use Actually, I maybe have the name in there. Ah, okay, so that is from the International Beauty Partners in Netherlands. So that's the same company which does the Neil Perfect as well. So probably I got it from them, uh, but I'm not sure if they still have it in stock. Uh, I'm, I'm also, you can find probably a very similar ones um, all over the internet. eBay is actually fab for those kind of uh, transfers as well. So I'm going to start cutting out those uh, large ones. And this is a nice Christmas bubble. I will make it bigger just in case because I don't uh, don't want to have too much of an empty space. So I have cut out the sticker and then you guys need a little bit of the water because they are a water transfers, okay? And just put it inside the water. So keep it inside the water. You have to keep it in there for a couple of seconds and then there is a, the sticker is going to peel. Okay, so keep it in. And then once it's wet, you should be able to slide it off. Okay, so I'm just sliding it off with my fingers. And apply it into my tip. I'm going to, because of the shape of this uh, nail, like it's very curved, I'm going to do one cut there, one cut there. I know the transfer kind of my, um, might have this cut, but I'm not bothered about it because we are going to cover it anyway. Okay, and this way we was able to straighten it really nice. And I'm going to do another cut in there. The sponges are really great as well. And then the remove remove the excess like Cut out any places which we don't need it. So 
stretch it all well. Got two more places which I want to touch up. <laughs> there we are. Okay, and I'm really happy with the application of the transfer now. Trim the excess again. Now, when you're working with the transfer, very important thing is to don't apply it, it over the free edge because you don't want it to come off. So I'm just cutting any excess above the free edge. Okay, that's me 100% happy with this uh, with uh, this transfer application. And now let's encapsulate it. So to be safe, like and make sure like this is going to stay on, I'm going to use the soak of base gel through the entire transfer. Because this way we kind of encapsulate it the same way like we would do it with the glitter. Okay, making sure you cap your free edge. And a drop more just at the structure. Cook it inside. Then in the same time, like when the other tip is curing, we are going to apply the transfer in here as well. And I will use a slightly smaller one, this one, that has those Christmas bubble in there as well. Now I'm going to apply, after I have applied the base, you could just remove the inhibition layer, but I'm just going to apply the top coat and then buff it gently before we move on into the next step. Look it. I think it's actually a fun to create those type of designs as well. No, this way. <laughs> because this is kind of just giving you a base. But remember, I always apply the transfer on the buffed tip. Like I don't want to do it on the tip which is not buffed. Again, I'm just going to cut in this place. A bit fiddly because it's also sticking it a little bit to your hands as well. So when marking with the very small transfer, like where you would have just a Christmas bubble and a tree, it would be very easy to apply it. The most difficult ones are the ones which are like almost a full picture, but that's what I wanted to show you guys how to how to apply those more difficult ones. Okay, and then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to wait for the water to dry and apply the base. Definitely lots of fun creating those type of designs. 
and you can see I have left the gap from the free edge like I didn't apply it too close to the free edge there is a gap on the top okay decent amount of the base you could use the sculpting gel as well for this type of design now it's a time for a buffing and then we can design the snail so to paint something like this it would take us probably like at least half an hour if not an hour like um, and this is a huge time saver like really huge time saver so i'm just buffing this tip because you want to make sure it is nice and even Touch the free edge any places like where they might be excess of the sticker. Make sure this is all filed away. Okay, you can see the sticker didn't get right to the end of the nail. Okay, and on the top I've got we excess, so I'm just filing this we excess so there is nothing to catch. Okay, and then once I'm happy, remove the dust and we can move on into the next step. So the Christmas bubble, I wanted it to be really 3D. I'm picking up the base gel again. And apply it really decent amount over my bubble. Then put it inside. Okay, this one has the base. I'm just going to apply the top coat. And the reason for the applying the top coat is I don't want to remove the uh, inhibition layer for filing. So, and then apply the top coat through the entire design again. Okay, because it's matte. And after that, we can finish the design with the sugar snow effect. And a bit of freehand as well. So this way it will look like you kind of guys painted it. Put it inside. We have to cure it for a 60 seconds. So the top coat is nice. And then I can buff this one. So I can show you something slightly different on this tip. So you've got two different ideas. But I'm actually really curious now, like, what kind of designs I could create with the stannery I've got in there. Because, I mean, normally I've got tutorial on the winter stannery for you guys as well, like, all freehanded. Um, but um, I think this is a fantastic solution for those of you who, who maybe don't feel as artistic, but would like to produce still really nice and beautiful nails. So remove the dust. Let's do those three three D effect with the base gel. And what else we could do is take a small brush, base gel on the small brush, and we could make the candy to be three D as well. Cook it. The first tip is ready, so let's start playing with these beautiful designs. And for these designs, we are going to use the paint on French gel. I've got my mixing palette. 
And now it's time to decorate this tip. So you've got few choices. One choice is just add the snow in those places and on top of the bubble. I'm definitely going to add a tiny wee bit of the snow on the top of the bubble. Plus a couple of the swirly parts at the edges of the design. First of all, it will give those nice and snowy uh, feel to it. And then secondly, it will make it uh, secure from coming off. And it also will make it look like you have freehanded it as well. So very quick and easy, guys, for a beginner. Okay, I'm, I'm putting those uh, wee swirly parts totally random. Like kind of almost a frost painting. And of course, again, sugar is a must-have design for this time of the year. Okay, so this design already starts looking much more complicated and much more beautiful. Of course, you don't want to cover the best parts of this design as well, so I'm not going to cover the stars. Because it would be a shame to cover them. Okay, and also you can see there is a... Um, I don't know how is it called, but... Shishka um, in Polish. <laughs> Um, concave? No. Um, Patrick is checking it in the camera now, uh, in the computer now. <laughs> Pine cone. Pine, pain cone? Oh gosh, I don't know. But what I'm doing is I'm covering it with the snow. <laughs> Yeah, so pine, 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 pine cone. <laughs> and uh, now I'm just going to take a nice glitter. And I'm using the indigo, but you can use any fine glitter, like absolutely any fine glitter is fine for sugaring, as long as you use it on the paint on gels. Like uh, they have to be the gels with very little inhibition layer. Sprinkle it really well. We could actually do design inside the Christmas bubble as well, and then cure it really well. So on this one, I will show you just something slightly, um, slightly different, so we do not repeat ourselves. And I will do the design inside the bubble. Apply the top coat because we need to cure it everything. I think it's honestly it's so much fun, fun creating those uh, type of designs, and imagine like how beautiful it could be. Like this one, the bridge. Actually, I have painted a similar one, and I've got tutorials for you, like how to paint it. But you will just sprinkle it with the snow, like and snow, uh, lots of snow over the green parts, so they kind of disappear, and then you've got uh, those wintry look to it. Yeah, that's that would be awesome. Okay, a couple seconds longer. 
and I can show you the first one because it's ready. So really rich wintery look, uh, which doesn't take long time. And uh, I think it's fantastic for beginners. Like, you know, if you, if you don't know where to start, like um, this is an absolutely very quick and easy way of creating some wintery Christmassy designs, which look really much more advanced. Okay, so let's decorate this one. So for a change, just so we don't go with the swirly beads, I'm going to go around it. Actually, we will go for swirly beads. I think they look just too pretty to don't do the swirly bits for winter. But don't hide the stars. We really want to see the stars. I don't have a, I don't know, specific way of painting those swirly parts. I'm just really adding on random squiggles. Snow on the top, and again, swirly parts. And now I'm just going to decorate it with the snow, the branches, so and the candy cane. Okay, some snow in there. And then the branches are going to be nice and snowy. It's a really nice uh, wintery feel to it, this design. There is another cone. And a bit of snow. And now let's decorate the Christmas bubble. And I want to do it those swirly beads. So you kind of go around the Christmas bubble with your brush and just in some places you're adding the swirly part. But honestly guys, if you, if you don't have like similar water transfers, just try any kind of it into the needle and then start decorating with the snow effect like because I think it is an absolutely fantastic uh, way to create a really quick and beautiful wintery designs. The swirls inside the Christmas bubble has to be really much smaller than the ones which are outside and I kind of joined them in as well. A more interesting look. Show the top of the Christmas bubble. Okay, and now I can sprinkle everything. So it's again didn't took us much long, uh, much long to create this design. Just sprinkle it. And give it a proper cure. Uh, so the sugar designs, you always want to double cure it. If you double cure it, they are not going to come off. Uh, and uh, yeah, in a couple seconds, I will be able to show you the second tip as well, because I think, as I said, it looks absolutely uh, fantastic. If you have tried this technique and you liked it, hashtag Dorota Palicka on Instagram or other social medias, because I would love to see your designs as well. Uh, 
and also we kind of want to sometimes create those uh, subscriber uh, video gallery as well uh, or like what I'm showing off everyone everyone's work so I'm almost done with it and again I will use this uh, plate to show you the final look because I do really love it how how I can kind of show you at different angles when the design is finished so we've got one it's weird to have two designs so I'll probably have to finish on my own the third one and I think each of them could be so different and yeah the third one I'm going to do the or do you want to see it let me know guys down below in the comments as well if you want to kind like I'm always confused when I'm doing the tutorials because like for a picture I cannot take a picture of two new so I'll probably need to do the third one so I will just pick up one of those uh, water transfer and finish and do it a third one but then because you already know the technique and everything I feel sometimes like it's pointless maybe to showing you so please let me know down in the comments below as well what would you prefer me to do it should I put the third one and show you how to do it or, or just don't bother showing because it's so similar, just a different tip. Uh, I will really appreciate your feedback. But that's what we have created today. Very simple, very easy, but looks so much complicated. Uh, yeah, and I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Glittery hacks. <laughs> Bye for now. Camera, sa cameraman says you have to record it as well because they might like maybe this one more than the other ones. So I say, okay, I'm going to record it. So I have cut out the one with the bow this time. <laughs> Put it to the water. Yeah, and I'm quickly going to show you guys. Actually, he's maybe right, but I don't know. Like, I always feel like it might be too boring showing the same stuff. Okay, so just stretch it nice. Cut the excess. Ideally, you want to cut it to the size of the needle to start with. I think I'm definitely going to order some water transfers uh, as well for my clients. Like, I mean, honestly, guys, some of the designs, like, they're really so time consuming. And I kind of know I could paint it this present, like, and I could paint it this bowl, but it would, with this detail, I mean, it probably would take me an hour. Like, honestly, it would take me an hour to paint it. Took it in, and then the top coat, paint on French gel, and what I'm going to do on the bow, the bow is so nice and beautiful actually. I love uh, playing with all the snowy designs as well, and it's actually a shame because we're getting so close to Christmas now, like that there is not even time to show you all the designs which I have planned, like, I mean, I've got still hundreds of them in my head and I have no time really to show you them all this year. So, uh, so you will need to stay with me and, and see them basically next year. <laughs> This uh, transfer actually went really nice and smooth. Uh, I didn't have too many bendy places. So I could probably get away without of buffing it. Um, but I still prefer it uh, to secure the edges. Okay, because with these tips, there is no catchy edges. Everything is really encapsulated and this is going to last. This is not going to come off your clients. But if I would go for a lazy option and don't buff this one, you can see it. I've got some foil, transfer foil, which it could come off from here. Okay. So I'm really going to buff it. And I think it's pretty nice to recap it as well of, I don't know, to say again what we have done and why. Because uh, I notice sometimes, guys, you ask me a questions which I really answer it is in the tutorials as well. Um, but it's fine, still keep them coming, like I will be answering for them. So those, uh, the cameraman is helping me a little bit uh, 
uh, too because uh, we really appreciate every single feedback, every single question uh, we get from you guys. Like, And as I say in some previous tutorials, I love doing those tutorials. Like, It's so much fun for me. I mean, I can't imagine like doing anything different and uh, than, than Neil's really. So showing it also to someone else is really making me enjoying it even more where you can share it with others. So another wee line. And remember, like, uh, let me know down in the comments below as well, like, please, please, I really would appreciate it if you tell me, like, what should I do? Should I keep them, uh, even if we're doing the same kind of ideas and I need three for a picture, should I all do them all three uh, in a camera view or should I just skip it because you are guys not interested to? <laughs> I think it's probably more as well like for the people which they are people which already do the, the news for a long long time and they are uh, probably feeling like oh this is pretty boring now and then for the beginner I think it is more interesting still. I'm just adding a little bit of the snow on the branch. Now, I really love the Christmas present and what I'm going to do it, I will just add a drop of the snow on the top of the bow. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to cover my bow because it's such a beautiful bow that I really don't want to cover it. And a bit of the snow on the bubble. Okay, sprinkle it. And then that's this design finished. So you could do something like a wee window, especially I think with the winter scenery ones you want you you could really do a wee wavy window like we did it on this tip with out of swirly beads and then add a little bit of the snow that's what I would definitely do it for the uh, this one this one I'm just going to cook it that's what I would definitely do it for the scenery one Now, using my top coat, I'm going to create, there is a tutorial as well, how I have created like a 3D bow look. Um, you can go back to this one as well. I think this is something really fantastic. So with my small brush, I'm just going to make it all 3D, like really 3D. And the Christmas bubbles. Freeze it. With this technique, you will need to kind of freeze your um, freeze your design every few seconds. Or you could use the sculpting gel, like for the bow. I have been using um, fiber gel, and there is tutorial. There is tutorial on that. And actually, I'm going to use it just so you can guys see it more raised effect. So I'm using the fiber gel and clear and just picking up a couple scots of it. And the bowl, I want to look like it is from the glass and it's 3D. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the brush and I'm painting like a wee strings on top of my bow.
I hope I'm be trying to find the best angle of the camera. Freeze it. Another side. So you really want to work, can you see the string in there? So you want to work with this string. To make this really nice 3D bow. Okay, and now go back again to the same places which we have painted before. Look, I'm working with this string to create those 3D look. And for bow, you always want to start with the outside edge. You don't want to start with the inside edge because they have to go smaller and smaller there. Can you see it like a starting showing? So it is 3D. And I love this technique as well, like, because uh, you can use it for any kind of uh, stuff, for flowers, for any other things. And of course, again, the longer we time we will spend on it, the better results we will get. Oh, start looking so cute. And the gel also enlarge the things. So it works almost like a magnifying glass. So those couple seconds cure are fantastic to freeze the gel. Another Christmas bubble. So it is the same technique what we have used it for a Christmas bubbles. And the more layer you put on top of it, the higher you can like the, the more 3D effect you will receive. But that's enough. <laughs> so I'm just going to cook it this tip and then show you the final results. So yeah, I think I should record it all of them because for this one I have used a slightly different technique. So we keep the tip matte just so the glass parts showed up even more. And uh, of course you could make it all shiny, but uh, I wanted those kind of, it's not finished, I would probably even play longer let me check the best angles so we've got a really nice glass bow yeah so that's a third design finished and it can go to the collection yeah actually you can see it really strongly now those three effect on the bow okay glittery hacks and bye for now